Initiating system one. System one loaded. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome once again to Ikra Kids TV Season 2. Now we hope you guys have been enjoying Season 2 because we've decided to switch things up a little bit and change it up. Yes, of course, you've got the regulars like Muslim Heroes, Random Art Studio and of course you've still got Let's See the World but we've also added some new features such as Muslim Maestros, ABCs of Islam and Kun Fire Kun with our two amazing host <laughs> right there's one other thing we want you guys to do in our new season two we have because we're getting really technical these days we've got a qr code if you don't know what a qr code is i'm going to put it somewhere on the screen right now okay you can see it now okay that qr code all you need to do to go to our instagram page is whip your phone out take a photo of it and hit that thing it will take you directly to our instagram page so try it out now okay hit that QR code with your phone and you should go directly to our Instagram page. Now on our Instagram page that is where we want all of your feedback. We want you to tell us if you want to be on any of our shows like Random Art Show or if you would like to send some of your artwork in. That's where you should go to do it inshallah. Right before we get into today's show because I've been working so hard at it I wanted to keep your brains active and what we've decided to do in parts of season two is to give you a bit of a quiz okay now the intro that we're doing now i'm going to be coming back halfway through the show and at the end but i'm going to do two questions for you okay i want you to think about it you don't have to send in the answer all i'm going to do is give you the answer halfway through the show set another question and at the very end we'll see if you can get the answer to that question as well right let me see mm, how many pillars are there in Islam? Remember, you don't have to send it in or write anything in, okay? All you need to do is think about it and at the halfway through, we'll see if you've got it right. Is that cool? Right, so how many pillars in Islam are there? Right, should we get on with the show? Check it out. Initiating system one. System one loaded. Assalamu alaikum, my munchkins and munchkinettes out there. How are you guys? Welcome once again to another episode of the Random Art Studio. We're going to continue our series talking about creatures, animals, all sorts of creepy crawlers that appear in the Quran. Now, the next animal, it's not really an animal, the next creature, I should say, is very famous and is known for doing something very important. Once I show it to you, you're going to say, oh, I know what it is, Khalil. Should I show you what it is? Here it is. Yes, a spider. That's what we're going to be doing. And of course, the spider uh, was responsible for saving the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his companion Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him, from the Quraysh who were chasing him. And the spider made that web over the cave mouth, remember? And they figured, oh, look, there's a spider web there. There's no way anybody could be in there because the spider web would have been broken. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Ankabut! All right, then, let's get to it now. Now, we're going to continue the two processes that we're doing. Right, one, we're using the grid system. And two, we're talking about those basic forms. Just getting the basic shape of something first. So let's just imagine my head, right? Not the best example. Imagine my head, it's kind of like a long egg sort of shape. Just the basic shape and then my hairline and then where my eyes would go, no details, then where my nose would go, then where my mouth would go and then where my lovely lush beard would go, okay? Just those basic forms. Then you'd go back and you start putting a few little details. Once everything in its, in its, is in its right place, then you start putting the eyelashes in, the little lines and everything. The same for the eyebrows, the curls on the nose. So we're going to start with our basic forms. Okay, so let's look at our drawing surface today. 
we, as you can see on our picture, we have our spider on the grid system there as usual. Now, if I've got it on my phone here as well so that we can see what we're doing, right? This spider looks like he's sitting in a square box. So what we're going to do, we're going to draw the same square box, but bigger in the same proportions, okay? So let's do that right now. Mm -hmm. As I said, I would say that box is a little bit oblong like that not quite a square actually I was wrong not quite a square more oblong like that okay then we're gonna divide it in four okay again guys I'm not using a ruler to do this I saw somebody uh, a while ago copying me on the telly and they were using a ruler now it's not cheating of course but I would rather you use your free hand to do it as I keep emphasizing right now looking at our spider looking at the basic form let's look at where his head is with his one two four five six seven eyes I would say looking at our picture looking where the lines are it is starting in that corner here about here somewhere and just over that corner goes over this way you can't see the bottom of his face because those mandibles those things coming out of his head uh, are in the way but we're gonna roughly say that's something see now looking at it see that distance from here to here it's a lot smaller so I need to make that compared to what we've got on our draw our the one that we're copying I'd say it's more like this like that okay so let's just get rid of this line here for now might as well in it guess what uh we've got rubbers for okay using my tissue as usual to get rid of the flakes right so that's roughly we might have to refine it a little bit later but for now that's fairly where the head is now looking at the back of his his body kind of goes up crosses that midway line here look at a picture of our picture he just crosses it goes up a little bit more than comes down and kind of stops about here somewhere. His legs are in the way again, but let's not worry about that. Something like that, okay? Now, if you do have arachnophobia, meaning that you don't like creepy crawly spiders, I think you are gonna be, uh, you're not gonna be alone. So many people don't like spiders. Okay, I'm not a great fan myself, but I'm not gonna run 100 miles as soon as I see one. Now, as I was talking, I decided to change the shape of this part here where his head goes and made it even smaller because looking at the picture I'm realizing yeah the head is a little bit smaller than that right so we've got his body going up it doesn't quite touch the distance between this top part here and his body is too close so I'm going to bring this down about here somewhere and bring that back around gonna get rid of these lines here you see the more you look at it the more you realize and oh I've got that body in the wrong place so you can refine it you can rub out the mistake and keep going and put in the right spaces right now for his legs what I'm gonna do for his legs staying on basic forms I'm just gonna do a line to indicate where the legs go I'm not gonna do the depth the, the thickness or any of the colors or anything like that I'm just gonna put a line for where I think the legs should go so let's look at the back left leg here it goes up, out over almost touches the side of here can you see that so it kind of goes up a little bit of a bend and then it goes here and it nearly touches that pace there the, the back end of our picture the second one kind of goes up here here and it goes dips under that line and almost touches that line again but not as far over remember we're just doing the lines to show where the legs go for now we might have to refine those but for now the next one kind of goes here and almost i'd say straight down not to the very bottom just a little bit above the bottom the next leg is directly on that line and it stops about here somewhere so we don't have to do anything else it's direct on that line just figure out where it stops yeah next one let's go to this back leg here it's on this side that's dividing line it's not it's on this side of it so we're gonna go up nearly touches the top and goes down again okie dokie nearly touches the top and goes down again right to dead right let me just change my phone to to um uh, aircraft mode all right because people are texting me I don't know what they want actually where are you whatever man so the next leg goes up and over and that's a pretty much it it's a bit curvy we'll fix those details in a bit the next one goes up and around and down and then actually does nearly touch that line so we need to bring it right over here like this 
okay? As you can see, I've just got a stick, a stick version of our spider for now, a stick version, okay? Because we just want to make sure everything is in its place before we start putting the details in, right? Let's look at the other leg or mandible or whatever they call. And um, that one goes pretty much straight down and almost touches the outside line there. Okie dokie. So we've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Of course, there's eight. Now, this particular spider looks like one of those massive, I don't know what they call them, tarantulas or something. And it's got these big, fat mandibles in front of his face. And they are above the line. About here somewhere. And they do, I'm, I'm going to have to do a basic shape for this one. And I'm going to bring those down like that. Okay, just below that, media, that middle line there. See, as I'm doing this now, I'm realizing that my spider head is not up far enough. Oh, Khalil. Oh, Khalil. See, this needs to be further up now and back down again. Oh, Khalil. Don't worry about it, my friends. This is how we get our pictures to look awesome, okay? This should be a little bit further up and down again like that. So let's just get rid of these lines here. Maybe too pointed, actually. Oops, these, always use a tissue to get rid of the flakes. Khalil, I'm talking to myself, not you guys. Okay, something like that. This mandible is quite fat and goes outside and doesn't go too far below that line there. Like this. And the same for this one here. Okay, about here somewhere. It's a bit fatter than what I've got. Okay, let's just get rid of some of these mid, 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 middle lines. Here like this. Okay, let's get rid of some of those lines there. Use your tissue to get rid of the flakes or the rubber. Okay, and then we're gonna see again, this part of his mandible is too close to the middle line. It should be about here somewhere. So that means I have to bring this one all the way over here now. All the way over here. And this one is gonna be even further out now like that wow so this one we did is absolutely incorrect because his other leg has to go in that space so we're going to take these lines out like this uh-huh wow this is how you use the grid system guys it helps you to position the parts of the thing that you're drawing in the right place seeing how far it is from the lines uh, that we've put on here the grid lines that we've put on that is how we figure out where things go. It takes a while to get your head used to it. Even now, I've been doing it for years and years. I'm drawing this next lug going down. And you can still see I'm making a few mistakes along the way. Okay, that is okay. Right, then I'm gonna put some of the eyes in. I'm gonna put the big ones in first. Initiating system one. System one loaded. Right, we're at the midway point, guys. I want to know, are you enjoying the show? If you are, hit that QR code, go directly to our Instagram page and drop us a comment or any artwork that you'd like to have featured on the show. Have you been thinking about the quiz question I set for you at the beginning of the show? I hope so. The question was as follows. What are the, how many pillars in Islam? Are there how many pillars? Five pillars, well done. You, you probably knew that anyway. Did you know that? Of course you knew that. Well done, okie dokie. Right, we'll set you another question and at the end we're gonna see if you can get it right. How many Salah Namaz is there in Islam? Mm, the main one. How many Salah are there in, you could, maybe you shout out the answer now. Don't worry, don't have to shout it out. You don't have to send it to us on our Instagram page or anything like that. Wait till the end and we'll figure out if we have indeed got the right answer. Right, should we get over the show? Let's continue. Initiating system one. System one loaded. Then the smaller ones at the bottom. One, two, three, four. Okay, maybe those have to be a bit bigger. And he's got one here and one here. Then he's got hair that kind of goes around here, 
goes back down here like this. And it's got those jagged bits on it like this. Wow, this one is a lot harder than I thought it would be. A lot harder. Okie dokie. And then there's another leg that just pokes out of here and goes down. Right, so after a lot of trial and error, that's the stick, instrument, <laughs> stick insect uh, that we've got for our spider. And we haven't even begun to put in the thickness of his legs and his body and all the rest of it like that as well. So let's start doing that for now. Everything is roughly in the right place. So let's start where we started before with that back leg here. So I'm going to put that first. Now that I, th I think the, the angle is right, I'm going to start putting the thickness of that leg in and then continue, it goes down like this and around and then you've got that other dark bit going out like this almost like a tear shape almost there the next one is here on his body that kind of angle there the next one doesn't touch that line yet goes down and then the Orange bit, the second orange bit goes below that line and then the grey part or the black part, it goes under the line like this. Wow! This is going to take a bit longer than I thought, but not to worry my friends. Right, so we're going to continue with that black part of his, his leg is there. And then we've got this leg here, just above that line. And... It's orange and black legs, something like that. Then the black bit. Then the orange bit. And because we've done the length already, we kind of know where it's going. And then finally, the black bit like that. Gosh, goodness me. Hope you guys are not getting creeped out by this creepy, crawly, very fat and hairy spider. Oh my gosh, I feel a bit creepy just drawing it. Keep looking at it. But the more you look at it, the less afraid you should be, in theory, anyway. Because it's just seeing it as a drawing. Now, you're not seeing it as an actual creature that might bite you and poison you, basically. Right, so I'm going to do the black bit here. Remember, it falls at that point there and stops there. Right, I'm going to get my scrap piece of paper to cover this so that when I'm drawing it, it doesn't smudge it. I'm going to draw this next leg here. Like that, and then the this one's only got three segment, sections to it. Like this. And then we're gonna go over here. His first mandible has got that little kind of tooth on it. And this one's got a little tooth on it. Like that. Okay. See what I mean about those tooth there? Those teeth, I should say. Then the next leg goes exactly where we put it. There. And this one's got three as well. And like this, awesome. And then the next one, as I said, we've it goes up a little bit, up a bit, and then down like this. And then this one's got four. It goes below, that black bit goes below the line. The orange bit goes further down. And then the black bit at the end finishes there. Okay, okay. Okay, let me make these a bit darker so y'all can see what I'll be doing. Okay. Oh my days. I never knew this spider was going to be so difficult when I chose it. I thought, yeah, this looks so nice. It looks so creepy and crawly and icky. And I never knew it was going to be so hard. Hmm, what can you do? What can you do? Right, never mind. Let's just put these lines in a bit darker. Now that I'm quite happy with them, I'm going to make these a bit darker. Okay, and okay, let's continue putting those legs in here. That goes up like this, a bit rounded. This one's got four as the other ones before. Has got four like the other ones before. Just can't help rhyming up the place, man. Like this, that's one, two, three. That's just, it's got five. One, two, three, four, five actually, yes. So this one touches the line, this orange one touches the line and the last one, just goes below the line and back up again. It's supposed to be touching that leg there, but let's not worry about that. Next one goes up here. It's got four, because we can't see the fourth one. And then the black bit there, the orange bit there, and then that black bit finishes up there. 
Wow, you see, sometimes it can get quite confusing, all these lines everywhere. But this is why we practice the art. The art of art. The art of art. That's what we practice. That's what it's all about. Okay. Now let's go do his body that goes back. Okay. All the way back like this. There. Let's just make these lines a bit thicker and darker so we can see them. And this bit here. And this bit here. Let's get rid of some of these lines in here, in here. So that we can see everything. See these lines that we first put in to indicate where the angle of the legs go and where the legs go themselves. We can just start rubbing those out a little bit. Now, now that we've got the legs where we want them to be, even that middle line they can go. Okay. And let's get rid of these ones here. And let's get our tissue and rub away those flakes. Right, so you can see it's, it's there. It's close enough, it's close enough. Okay, right, what I want to do is put in some of the darker aspects of his legs. So here, all the black bits, I'm just going to shade them in a little bit so that we can see the difference between that one and the orange one for now. Okay, they're alternate colors. So the tip is dark and the second one is orange. That's going to be dark. Again, I'm shading, trying to shade in the same direction tip is going to be dark. It's not quite black, it's more dark grey. Like that, and then the same for this one. And of course his mandibles here as well. I think they're called mandibles. I'll keep calling them mandibles. I'm tempted to call them mandibles. So let's call them mandibles for now, okay? Let's just put those mandibles, they're dark as well. And then his legs here. And his legs here. Here, and here, and here, and here. Right, let's put those eyes in a bit more stronger. He's got eyes within eyes, this guy. Goodness me. And each of those eyes have pupils and lenses as well. So I'm just going to put those in very quickly. Right, and I'm going to put his hair in a bit more pronounced. So I'm going to make those quite dark. It should be about there somewhere. And then his hair continues around the back of his head. Like this, just put the line for his head in darker as well. Like that. And I'm, his whole head is meant to be that same light grey, so I'm going to put a line in there, some shading in there to indicate that. Okay, and look how quickly I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to go super speed, man, super speed. Super speed, right? So far, you'll think I got superpowers, just like Power Lad. Okay, no, maybe not Power Lad. Right, let's have a look at that now. Not bad, not bad, looking at what we've got on the screen compared to this. It's pretty close. It's pretty close, but I feel the need to just do a little bit more just to finish off some of the details here and there. I'm going to put some lines here on this side of it. Right, 
So let's have a look at this very creepy looking spider. Now I could have picked, like I normally pick, a lovely happy looking creature, but this time I thought, you know what? Let's make it look a bit menacing. <laughs> I think we've done a fairly good job there as well. Right, we're gonna put a pin in that one there for now. I think it's okay. Again, I underestimated the difficulty of this particular spider because of those legs and everything. Using that grid system certainly helped me to put things in the right perspective and in the right position. That was really helpful. Right, guys, once again, I can remind you if you want to send your artwork in. Right, I put a call out on our Instagram page the other day and one can say, oh, where do I have to send it to you? I said, send it to our uh, Instagram page. So if you've not been over to our Instagram page yet, you've not liked it and commented on it as well. What you're waiting for, go over there right, right now. Of course, it's Ikra Kids TV on Instagram. Go over there and follow, like, and share. And also, as I said, if you've got artwork you want to send to us, just inbox it to me. Get your, your phone out or your mum, your dad's phone out. Take a picture of it nice and nice and clear. And do a few, this one or two pictures that you might that you might like, that you've done that you think is really awesome. Don't be shy. Send three or four in as well, inshallah. And we will feature it on the show and on our page, inshallah. Right, guys, thank you for viewing me. Take care of yourself. Speak to you soon. Assalamu alaikum. of another amazing show. Did you guys get the answer to the quiz? How many Salah are there in Islam? Five, of course, five Salah during the day. Right, just want to remind you that our QR code is on the screen here as well. So if you want to be on this show for random art or anything else, by all means, make sure you go over there and you can inbox me your artwork. If you want to be on the show, all of that good stuff would be absolutely amazing. Right, guys, so speak to you soon. Yeah, hope you like it. Kids TV.